All right, guys, so it's Sunday. I'm looking a little dapper after church, but I'm mostly thinking I want cake, maybe brownies, mostly cake. Let's see what the family has to say about this. Hey, guys, who I'm thinking about making cake. Strawberry? Well, we don't have any strawberries. Uh, how about banana? Banana? No. What? What cake should we not make? Banana. What cake should we not make? Chocolate cake. You don't like chocolate cake? Oh, yeah, it's chocolate cake. What if we make chocolate cake with chocolate frosting? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> What about vanilla cake with chocolate frosting? Is that okay? Is that okay? Yeah, vanilla cake. Vanilla cake? Vanilla, vanilla cake. Vanilla. Anything else that you would not want? Pineapple cake. You don't want pineapple cake? But pineapple upside down cake is great in my Dutch oven. I really want chocolate cake. 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 Choc no, you can't hold my camera. <laughs> but you can come watch me make a cake. Should we, we do that? Make a cake? No, no. What? You're such a good helper, though. Oh, are you going to keep me company? Okay. Forever alone. All right. And we're going to start cooking. Talk about our greens, starting with the wet team. Stick in half of butter that is three quarters cup of butter, three eggs, yolks and whites all together, sugar, it is a cup and three quarters cups of sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla. For the dry team, we are going to need two and a half cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and we're gonna mix this together right now, and two and a half teaspoons, just shy of a tablespoon of baking powder. Dump all that in. Okay, we're gonna set this aside right away. We're gonna add our butter. Should have made sure that was better detached. Should have opened the other stick because now I can't do it one handed. All right, yeah. Gonna stick the whole stick, nothing but the stick. Oh, butter. Come on. This is why I'm not quite yet a professional. So our butter's in. We're going to add our attachment. And we'll get whipping this up. Meanwhile, i got to reset the camera. I also forgot to mention before we get started, we're also going to need a quarter and a cup of milk. So, let's get this going. We're going to get that. Let's see if we can keep this in a decent frame. Make sure your bowl is firmly attached. Sprinkle in your sugar.
once it gets kind of crumb looking, going to add eggs one at a time. Try to add these one at a time. One, two, and everybody in the pool, three. Important thing to remember when you know baking stuff like this. Sorry, didn't have everything I needed. Is a rubber spatula if you got one, and scrape the sides off. See, you've got the stuff that's not quite mixed the same because it was stuck to the side. So we're gonna scrape the sides, get all that stuff off the side of the bowl. We're gonna resume our mixing a little higher. Now we can add our vanilla. All right, and again, between steps, scrape the sides. If not too much comes up, then Go ahead and move to the next one. If you get chunks of stuff coming up, then go ahead and you know mix it and before adding your next ingredient. Now I've got my special little helper here. Let me turn the make sure you get your uh feeder mixing before you add your flour, otherwise you make a flour bomb. And we're just gonna sprinkle some of the flour in. I'm using a plastic flexible cutting board. So we've got about a quarter of that in. We're going to add about a quarter of our milk. We're going to add about another quarter of the flour. Let that incorporate for a second. And about a quarter of our milk. Some more flour. A little more flour, as my helper is saying. I don't know if you can hear her. Okay, that means I'm first. Yeah, you're helping, huh? Kiddo? I'm first. Yeah. And a little more milk. And a little milk, yeah. 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 Last of the flour. Last of the milk. <laughs> okay, we're going to turn it up a notch or two. Really mix everything. Scrape the bowl, make sure we got everything off the ends. You can eat the you can eat it when we're done making the cake. She's my helper is ready to uh jump in and start licking the spatula. I had to tell her we gotta wait a minute. Hi. Gotta get the cake in the oven first. Hi. Other, until hi. then. Hi. Yep, she says hi. Hi. She's waving hi to the camera. Okay, one more beat on about medium high. <laughs> Ellie, let them see the cheater. All right, we want everything to look nice and smooth, just like that. And she's saying hi again. We want to s s hi. Let's see if I can do this one-handed again, because I brought the wrong uh, tripod in. I'm trying out a new tripod, and it's a little too short for what I was hoping. So we'll just go for it. That's uh, it's moving a little slow. No, no. 
Give me a sec, I gotta rescue the spatula. Let's try it like this. Get two hands again. Again, I've oiled this Dutch oven very well. So hopefully that means, you know, when we're done cooking, this cake will release easily. My special helper is taking off. And I'd like to discuss a short thing that a lot of people don't often talk about when Dutch oven cooking. I know a lot of people say, you know, don't wash your pans. It ruins your patina. Do you know what? Sometimes you need to freaking wash your pan. Or your next thing you'll cook will taste like the last thing you cooked. I was testing a recipe that I will be uploading next after this cake. And it is very strong and pungent, full of flavor. It's delicious. I love it. It will absolutely contrast with a dessert so think about that make sure that you know you didn't cook maybe you know chili or garlic chicken or tacos or something and then you're putting in a light vanilla cake in you're gonna have like garlic chili taco flavored cake instead of a vanilla cake <clears throat> so keep that in mind when dutch oven cooking so, I, because it's Sunday and we just had a snowstorm, my porch outside is covered in several inches of fresh snow. We're going into an oven set at 375. But if you are going to go traditional with charcoal, if you want to cook this 29, you know, two nine coals. See if I can get this in one-handed. Okay. Now I know I always have my other tripod ready when I'm doing stuff. Uh, there we go. Kind of. There it goes. The legs were catching on the grate. I'm gonna let this go 20 minutes. So reset my timer. Do, 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 do. Timer going. 20 minutes. Catch you back when it's go when it comes out. Okay, so we got the better tripod. Open this up and take a look. I, I cooked it for about 30 minutes instead of 20 because I read the, uh, the recipe wrong and I told you wrong. So, but I will always try to admit when I'm wrong. So we're gonna check the middle and we'll just see what it looks like. See if it's uh, cooked all the way through. Are you ready to help me do that helper? Oh, it's a deep cake. Yeah, a couple different spots, it all came out good. Turn off our heat, make some room for it. And we're gonna let this thing cool for about an hour. Meanwhile, if you're like me, you're gonna be starting dinner or you could go make some frosting. And my kid wants to be back on camera. Do you want to be on camera again? Okay, walk right here. Back up, there you go. Say, hi YouTube. Can you say hi YouTube? No. No, can you just say hi? Hi. <laughs> Don't kick my tripod. There we go, guys. Completed finished cake. I made a chocolate um, cream cheese icing. Mm, it's awesome. So, if you excuse me, me and my family are going to go enjoy this cake. I, I plopped it out onto a 
out of the Dutch oven, let it cool on this pizza tray. So that's the only platter I had big enough to hold this 12 inch cake. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and never miss an opportunity to improve. Don't tell my wife. This weather piece.